So to do this, I'm gonna show you exactly what I did in my studio. We're gonna add up the materials I used. Your materials may be different, but the concepts are what I'm trying to teach here so that you can then apply these concepts to your own studio build with your own soundproof door. So to start with, let's add up the weights of my wall that the soundproof door is on. So on the outermost layer of my studio, we used a material called hardy plank, which is a concrete based material that is looks a little bit like wood, but it's actually made out of some concrete material, which makes it heavier, which is great and also more durable to the weather. So this material, just doing some basic research here, came out to be 2.3 pounds per square foot. The next material on the inside of my studio build is a common material when building houses, and this is called OBS. It's a plywood type material, and it has a weight of two pounds per square foot. So those two things cover the wall on my outside of my studio. If you're building in a house or something, you may have two layers of drywall on the outside of your studio. But for me, because this is a room in my backyard, I had that same amount of mass built from these outside materials of hardy plank and OBS plywood. Now on the inside wall, we're gonna look at what I put on that. So for the inside wall, it's pretty simple. I just had two layers of 5 8 inch drywall. Now 5 8 inch drywall, when you get the heaviest kind of drywall you can get in the United States here, it comes to a total weight of 2.2 pounds per square foot. So now we have all of our different building material weights. Let's add them up and figure out what the total weight per square foot is of our wall. 